Your Honor, just information. We might have to fumigate the courtroom. Huh? Somebody's got bed bugs. <laughs> you were there. You remember the trick. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of squats, quite frankly, trying to work the glutes, you know, doing all the good things that I need to do. <laughs> you know what Lieutenant Smith does? He grabbed the news guy and evacuated the danger zone faster than Tom Cruise after he launched that missile in Maverick. Such a great movie, a huge movie, Your Honor. China wishes they had movies. And North Korea's Kim Jong Wong Hong Dong. Wishes he had Tom Cruise. Why is that man up there limping for? Because I've dealt with him on the street. And your honor, he was not limping whatsoever. He was actually he walking is. just fine. Your honor, that is totally irrelevant. And well, it would have been great if we had some medical reports to, to back any of that up, but I think we don't. So, yeah. Let's for bugs. Sorry, your honor. Hey, what are they ready for? Does anybody know? I don't know. You ain't even walked in there. And are you ready to Yeah, you're almost late. You're on court date. Well, Let's go. Somebody put the red carpet out for me. You were such a diva. You hush. Oh, yeah, after you, sweetheart. Yes. Smitty. What? Did you piss off a bunch of gang members? Recovery. Okay. Does a man in the woods? Sir, if you're going to continue to be what? disorderly like that, I'm going to put I you in cuffs and hold you. think he beats wherever he wants to, actually. Do what? Do what? Hey, get back to belts or dealers, you little mall security, and leave me alone. Are you talking to me? Yes, huh? I'm talking hey. to you. You just hey. said that to me? Smitty, at of least a friend of yours showed up. He's the only friend you got. Come here, bring it in. Smitty, you better watch your mouth. Okay. That's with yeah. my backhand. That's pepper on be that. nice to the people that support you. just saw that. He just saw that. Who did, the judge? Yes. Yeah, because you're getting disorderly and I'm holding it down. You ain't holding it down in BRG, okay? <laughs> That's sort of got on scary to say it. Dylan, if you get any closer to me, I'm going to hit you in the face. He gets in a closer, Why? we'll have a bun in the oven. Hey, KJ, if we oh. was in school right now, they'd make you put your hands I down by your side and send you home because that skirt's too back. short. Okay, Smitty. Okay. Hands down by your side, and if it don't come to your okay. to your fingers, okay. then you're going. What are What are you a, a two year old? Like what 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 do you? I mean, you a middle school boy? You can't keep your emotions all together. You're Is that the in, problem? You're in your court. hormones all over the place. You're in court, and this ain't the vanilla unicorn. I know I'm in court. I look dressed very nice for once. Did you want me to go get my overalls and throw them back on? What do you mean? Your Honor, just information. We might have to fumigate the courtroom. Smitty's got bed bugs. <laughs> this is not, this is, that, that, that's fake news. Fake news. Nope, Huge. that's not fake news. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's probably not true, right? <laughs> I've got it on camera. <laughs> That that fire medic. Thank you. Though you come in and you followed one minute ago, and now you have subscribed with Prime. Dylan, don't thank do you, it. thank you, thank you for the Prime sub, brother. I appreciate that, man. Put us Dylan, like I'm 19 dude. subs away now Slide from 200, bro. Thank you so much, man. Make it, thank you for that. Do you sure. you look you legit sure. followed and then sub right away? Yeah. Thank you so I'm much. I'm perfectly safe. Yeah. We good to go, Donny T. Huge, huge, huge. I'm good. <laughs> See? Waiting for the defense or the prosecution huge. attorney, I guess in this case. <laughs> I was thinking, what up, baby? You have on your side, Smitty. <laughs> what? Yeah, we're Smitty Matt doesn't have any friends. He pisses uh, everybody um, off. Cole Stone, uh, and, what are you talking uh, about? You've got two people sitting behind Look you. Look at all those people we have, and you have two people. Go, uh, and the only reason why I'm here is because I'm a witness. I'm not here to support you. They're gang members. They all hold hands. They can't even go take a crap without holding one of their hands. I mean, what do you expect? You pull up and talk to one of them, and they all just that's a good point. They all just swarm up like like daggum bees on honey. You know what I mean? Like maybe that's a good point. That's a good point. I should get some aviators. Does anybody have any aviators? Had to sub. This stream is great. Thank you so much, Fire Medic. Thank you, thank you, thank you, brother. I appreciate that, man. First time chatting with you. like Tom Cruise and Maverick. I didn't appreciate know you, brother. The streets were friends. I feel you, for sure. Do what? Do you remember when he kissed me and I sent a picture to you? Your Honor, where hey, excuse me? Yeah, if you want to. He kissed me and they sent the picture to you. You're friends with him? Smitty. Are you taking a picture of yourself? Smitty. Hold on. What are you doing? 
Hey, welcome back, sir. Edge. Don't need to get to camp. Okay. Smitty, I don't know what you're doing right now, but let me tell you, you better think long and hard about it. What do you mean? First time I've done a Twitch follow. Let's go, baby. I appreciate I don't know that. Why you would do this when I'm about to be a witness for you. Do you realize this? Like what? From your what did I do? You put that picture on Instagram and said she's all over me. I hate me. It doesn't care. I got hacked. Smitty, I watched <laughs> you do it. No, oh hell! Now here comes Samantha you do walking you, in. Do what? You do you, boo boo. I got hacked. Yeah, right in front of me, how you pulled out your phone and started writing on it. Do you follow me or are you just a ghost follower? Why would I follow you? Are you a, do you follow me or are you a ghost follower? Which one? I neither. I'm not following you. So you're a ghost follower. A ghost follower is that you sit there and watch everything that I post, but you don't follow or you don't like none of my stuff. But you, but you see everything that gets posted. Listen, I don't care what you do with your life. It's your life. You do what you want to do. You chose Mia. I'm fine with that. You and Mia have a nice life with your bed bugs, fleas, whatever she has. Chat! You worried at all? You have any questions? Oh, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to rock and roll. I'm good. You did, Dolly. I'm so excited. I've been ready for this all day. I wrote up everything I know. I know, Yitch. What are we going to do? I know. That's what I'm saying. They're not even gonna believe it. Right, right. Itch. I'm done. I wish we would have prepared a counterclaim. We should have gotten some money back from him. Oh, a hundred percent. A hundred percent. Did you see you were there, you remember the twerk, don't I, you? Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Is it is it I've been working on the form. Itch. Work working on the form, I tell you. I can tell you've been putting in lots of hours on that. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of squats, quite frankly, trying to work the glutes, you know, doing all the good things that I need to do. <laughs> I can tell. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah, Jello, sir, how are you? It is Who plays Trump? Jay Masters plays Trump. Moody Girl. You, the pleasure 17 is months. Mind. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the two for 17 months. I truly appreciate that. All right, Mr. Stone, is that you over there? Thank you, thank you, thank you. For the tier one for 17 yes, daggone yes. months, Moody girl. Okay, in that case. All right, Chad, I'm gonna shut up so y'all can all hear. Is that better, sir? Affirmative. Yeah, I think I got you a little bit. All right, thank you. Thank you. Today we're gonna to talk about a few topics. Qualified immunity, uh, some of the hit and run codes for California. 428 to 24, about approximately 11:15 Central Standard Time, at the uh, gas station, 3051. A number just happened there. What was going on during this emergency was an officer was across the street. Someone that's in a position of trust, public trust. We're going to discuss what happened that day and maybe build some bridges. Thank you, Honor. Thank you, Mr. Trump. Your floor. Yes, thank you, Your Honor. Your Honor, people in attendance here today, I'll tell you, we're here today. Why, you might ask, that might not be what I ask, but I know the answer bigly. One of our officers, Lieutenant Smith here, Quite frankly, one of the best. You can you can ask me. I know a lot about all the officers. Some of the best, all of them. Lieutenant Smith, right up there at the tippy top. I'll tell you, he's being sued for trying to go above and beyond like he always does for our beautiful community. In the most harrowing of times that you'll hear about tonight, you're going to hear all about it. A huge story. Doing the right thing, even when nobody is watching, allegedly. An outstanding member of the police department, Los Santos Police Department, the boys in blue, I tell you, you're going to hear him be vilified in a disgusting and unjust manner by the prosecution here tonight. 
unjust, hugely, hugely unjust. What is clear is that there was a huge fire, so much smoke and destruction, I tell you, huge destruction, flames, Your Honor, big time flames, huge flames. I'll tell you, not even Benny Hanna would cook on those kind of flames, they're so big. Certainly not the kind you would have roast marshmallows on either, Your Honor, no sir. Huge flames. You might ask why the flames were there. Here's a good question. I don't know, Your Honor. Maybe a crappy gas pump from China. Maybe user error. Maybe somebody did this to this. I don't know. Yeah, it's pumping gas, you know. You know, Honor, pumping gas, easy for me, easy for you probably, but maybe not so easy for some people, apparently, I'll tell you. But could you take a guess at what our hero our hero, Lieutenant Smith, somebody, somebody get this man a cape, I tell you, huge, a huge hero. Do you know what Lieutenant Smith does? Well, he's a heckin' hero, what do heroes do? He went straight into those flames, I tell you, to save anyone he could see. He grabbed the news guy and evacuated the danger zone faster than Tom Cruise after he launched that missile in Maverick. Such a great movie, a huge movie, Your Honor. China wishes they had movies. And North Korea's Kim Jong, Wong Hong Dong, wishes he had Tom <laughs> Cruise. Hong Dong! But no, he only gets Dennis Rodman, I'll tell you, allegedly. But I'll wrap this up. Lieutenant Smith, a huge, huge hero, and a huge treasure to this community. This is nothing but a defamatory lawsuit, nothing but trying to smear his name, a smear campaign, I tell you, a money grab at its finest. And I'll tell you, I know about money, Your Honor. I'm rich, but I'll tell you, we don't pay our officers enough. We need to, that's a separate discussion, but we need to talk about it. We need to pay our officers more. And I'll tell you what, we can't sue them whenever they do great, huge, beautiful deeds. I'll tell you, that's all we have for now, Your Honor. I'm ready to win. Thank you both. <laughs> Mr. Cole, <laughs> you begin your case. And thank you, Your Honor. Is KJ present, please? Yes, sir. Your Honor, I'd like to call KJ to stand, please. Okay. Oh boy, here we go. I wish they'd get these lights out of my face though. You raise your hands for me. I'm gonna stand right here so these sir. lights won't be in my way, Chad. Sure tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yes, sir. Alrighty, Mr. Stone, your witness. Thank you, Your Honor. KJ, do you remember 428 to 20, 24 around 11:15 Central Standard Time? What was going on at the uh, at the gas station, Postal 3051? Yes, sir. Could you describe what was happening? Yes, sir. So I was having some car trouble in the middle uh, median area, and uh, my ex fiance saw me and he stopped to help me. I know she um, did not say that. I get my car back working, so um, he allowed me to hop in the car with him. Um, and he drove over. He was going to get some gas from the gas pumps, and there were some people down. Um, in the parking lot. Uh, it looked like maybe there was an explosion of some sort. There were other people there as well um, in the parking lot that were alive and well. Um, and Smitty picked up Dylan, who was over there for some reason. I think he had his camera out or something. Um, Dylan got in the car. Smitty did drive off, um, as I believe there was a officer down call, and Smitty was um, trying to attend to that quickly, as he was one of the few officers on duty at the time. Is that true? Was, was I going to an officer down? over and picked up Dylan, you said. Uh, there were some other people. Did he run over these people? Um, I do believe he did run over the leg of one of um, the individuals on the ground. Did I? Did I? Did I? All right. He ran over his leg on one of the individuals that was on the ground. When he was leaving the area, did he make contact with anybody else, vehicles or anything like that? Um, uh, Smitty was in a rush as there was an officer down call, and I do believe he... Um, clipped a car on his way out to take off. Okay, clipped a car on the way out as he uh, was leaving out. Did uh, they speak to you? Did he speak to them? Was there any type of contact made? Um, we never had any conversation with the individuals. I could hear them talking, but I could not make out what they were saying. <clears throat> All right, I 
sure do appreciate it, KJ. I thank yes, you very much. No further questions. All right, thank you. Oh, dude, she threw me under the bus, chat. She didn't have to you say have all that. Edge, Edge, if you don't mind, Miss KJ. Sorry, didn't mean to smack you with that. <laughs> Apologize. Well, no, oh, you're fine. Welcome. We appreciate you being here. That's a lovely time. Yeah, she cannot do You're an amazing bus, person. Man. Thanks again for teaching me how to dance, allegedly. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah, come on, man. I, come on. Uh, I appreciate you being here, too. I just had a couple of questions for you. Right, is it the truth, yes or no, that are you, in fact, married to Lieutenant Smith? Um, he is my ex fiance. We recently um, broke up. Okay, I understand. Sorry to hear that. But in your uh, experience with Lieutenant Smith, is he somebody who you would say would flee from a person needing help or would not help somebody who is down or injured knowingly willingly purposefully no he would never do that itch i understand and uh you did say that there was another emergency call that you you, you i believe there you? was an officer down call as he was in a hurry to get back to the city um i could hear his radio going off it sounds like a quite an emergency and whatever you were there at the uh, the gas station with them, I tell you, huge. You, there was a huge fire, wasn't there? It was a huge fire, would you say? Yes, there was. Lots it's of smoke the, as well. Lots of smoke, so it's probably a little difficult to see, I think, quite frankly, yes. What was that, sir? I'm sorry. I said, yes, huge smoke. Thank you for pointing that out. Probably a little difficult to see, maybe for you, maybe for Lieutenant Smith, huge. Yes, I agree. Yes. Thank you so much. I don't believe we have any further questions right now for the wonderful Miss KJ. Yes, sir. Thank you. I redirect, Your Honor. You may. Um, now, Miss KJ, you said that uh, he had a uh, shots fired call or officer down call. Was that what you said? I believe there was an officer down call, if I remember correctly. And you was riding with him at this time? Yes, sir. He had just picked me up on the side of the road. Where did y'all go to? Where do we go to? Yes, ma'am. He was responding to an officer down call. Shots yeah, we fired. were headed to the city. And you was riding with him. Did you go to this call or where did y'all go? Um, he went down to the city. I can't remember the exact location of where we were at, but there were multiple individuals down when we arrived. I don't, I, I don't even remember this. Okay, so this was a multi-victim accident or a multi-victim scene is what you're saying? Yes, sir. All right, thank you. No further questions, though. And across what right, about Thank you. Okay, very good to step down. Sarah Bob, thank you for the two for Mr. 13 Stone, months. Any other witnesses you wish to Thank you, thank you, thank you for the 13 months, Sarah Mr. Bob. Graham, is he available, sir? I appreciate that so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Go ahead and sit right for the here. tier one for 13 months, Sarah Bob. I'd like to call Mr. Graham. Check the phone. No, it's Samantha texting me. It's Samantha texting me. He's got a limp, Your Honor. Does he need medical? No, no, I'm just still recovering, man. Hate to hear it. Mr. Graham, if you could raise your hands for me. You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, Your Honor. All righty. You're a witness, Mr. Stone. Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Graham, on 428-24-1115 Central Standard Time at Postal, the gas station at 3051, could you describe what happened to me, sir? Yeah, it, uh, I still have not talked about it. Um, so we were uh, we were there getting gas, and uh, across the street, we had seen an officer in another vehicle uh, across the road in the median area. And uh, as we were getting gas, for some reason. There was some kind of explosion. I'm not sure what happened. The fire department never finished that investigation. Uh, however, there was me and three under other individuals uh, that were injured during that explosion. And the uh, camera crew or the news media was uh, across the road and they ran over to see what was going on as well. And at that time, uh, an LSPD car came over and uh, it happened to be the officer and as he was leaving after picking up the uh, media crew I was struck by the vehicle and so was another individual as well I was struck by a vehicle uh, twice actually uh, during that time how did it happen to strike you twice uh, once going in 
And then one's going out of the uh, middle of where the gas pumps were. So he went over you forwards, then went over you backwards? Correct. All right, and then after he backed on further out, what happened? Uh, the officer looked like struck another vehicle as they were leaving. Uh, I could hear some some words being said, but I couldn't quite make out what was being said. However, there was another vehicle because we did hear another crash behind us. All right, how long was y'all guys down before y'all was able to get some help there after he left? Uh, about close to 30 minutes. So if it's close to 30 minutes, it would probably be unlikely that he called 911 or even advised anyone of this. Correct. Uh, due to there being uh, emergency personnel in the uh, area, or in the city rather, um, we did have other people that were there with us and that were able to uh, kind of witness the situation. And these other people there that was able to witness the situation, were they able also to call 911? Uh, yes, so we all uh, attempted to call 911 with no response. All right, so we'll have to ask Mr. Smith if he was, if he did try to call that. No further questions this time, Your Honor? Okay, before we do cross-examine, I want to talk with all three of y'all real quick. Beard Dad, have you not saw this before? Itch! I, I, I love Graham. court scenes. Over here, please, real quick. No, I was on my side. Yeah, no, I was on my side. Gotcha. J Doggy, think of it as six months, bro. Is that all for SG on your team? Why is he limping uh, for? If you want to cross examine Mr. Graham. Mr. Graham, if you could take the stand, please, for me. Jay Doggy, thank you for the two on for six months. Olivia K. Simple, thank you for the two on for 11 months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Olivia K. Simple for the 11 months at Tier 1. And thank you, Jay Doggy, for the two on for six months. Itch, thank you, Mr. Graham, for, for being here. I'm sorry that you're such a, you, were, you were injured here in such a tragic, tragic situation, I tell you. Uh, how are you doing today, if I may ask? Uh, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting a little better. Yes, that's good to hear, I tell you. Um, so this, this fire, this raging fire, I tell you, an inferno of, of fire and smoke. I tell you, you say you don't know how it happened? Is that what you said? No, uh, I, was, I was very well informed after the fact because there was other people there uh, and the camera footage. Itch, okay, and um, so then how did it happen? How did the, how did the, uh, the fire start, allegedly? Because that wasn't presented. Uh, I'm unsure of that, of that portion. Objection, Your Honor, relevance. Itch, it's, it's a, the fire is part of the entire case. I think it's completely relevant, Itch. The fire is part of the case, but how it started, the reason why it started is not. Well, he doesn't know anyway, so what are you arguing about? Oh, I just like talking to you, Mr. Trump. Yeah, Jay, I love you too. To answer the objection, given the question was answered before the objection, I'll allow it to stay on the record. It's uh, Mr. Ted, I tell you. Um, when you were you laying on the ground, would you say it was hot with all those flames, Huge? Uh, it was. It was pretty warm. Pretty toasty down there, I tell you. Quite, quite a little bit warmer than the 80s, maybe. Was there a lot of smoke going on everywhere? Would you say it was rather smoky, difficult to see a little bit? No, not not from what I can remember from it. No, not very smoky. Do you know anything about the the behavior of smoke and fire? Uh, yeah, I do. Do you know that smoke rises so that it's easier to see everything below the smoke versus whenever you're standing up or perhaps in a car? Correct. Yeah, so it's quite frankly possible that maybe things that you saw people couldn't see because you were laying on the ground? My, my vision was very clear all around me. 
But, he, but somebody else, maybe somebody who's a little not laying on the ground, maybe Restriction sitting on your the ground. Honor. On what grounds? He's going to have to speculate to answer that answer. So, judge for speculation. We'll withdraw the question. I feel like he's correct. Thank you. Itch, uh, sir. Mr. Ted, while you were laying on the ground, were there any bumps or islands around that, uh, that, uh, gas Lucky. bump, Itch? Lucky. Nowhere, nowhere near me. Lucky. Itch, nothing. Was there anybody else? Was there any debris leaking anywhere? Any cars or anything like that? There was no car. Uh, I was, I was very, I was a good distance away from the car. Um, I was in the open from, uh, what I seen. And, uh, there was no islands or anything near me. I was very well in the open. Matty Cakes, Matty Cakes, I see the five months. Okay, it sounds like from everybody else that it maybe was a little more uh, smoky and una not not quite clear to see, but, uh, Itch, uh, I will, I have no further questions right now. <laughs> Dude, I'm kind of nervous about getting up there, too. Redirect your honor. Matty Cakes, thank you for the tour for five months. I appreciate that. Lucky, thank you for the five gifted subs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Straight what up, baby? Tattoos or what up, baby? What up, Ellie? Ran over the first time. Possibly Love the all you guys, time. man. Thank you guys for the support. Yell, scream, maybe holler. I did. Did you happen to hear anybody answer you or anything like that? No, no, just the other individuals that were near me. All right, the ones that were also being run over by Officer Smith. Uh, one of them did not get ran over. Uh, the other one that did get ran over was in front of the vehicle. Yeah, if, you, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. <clears throat> Excuse me. But no, uh, the other person next to me that was not ran over did uh, did see it and did hear my screams. Help. All right. And uh, since he was able to hear your screams and some of the other able to hear your screams, uh, I would hope, you know, even inside the roaring vehicle with that powerful police engine interceptor, he would still be able to hear your screams for, and pleas for help. Objection, Objection. Your Honor, calls for speculation. Sweetie, you can't say that. Sustained. Withdrawn, Your Honor. <laughs> I just hit him with the objection, chat. Are you having to, uh, are you contemplate, are you having to have any therapy done or going to any counseling for this? Uh, counseling was offered, but due to the time frame, I've not been able to uh, attend the full counseling sessions. Uh, due to having to uh, fly out uh, of this city. So I've not been able to attend those counseling sessions. Okay, but we do have some that's set up for the future. This is stemming from uh, this incident because of uh, the feelings and, and the traumatic events that went on. How exactly did that make you feel? Uh, very, uh, there's a lot of emotional distress. Uh, I'll tell you that. Oh, he looks when you see an officer in uniform, what's your first thoughts? What? Well, and this is a. Uh, what's your first thought? Of course, I want to trust. You know, but after you know what had happened to me there, it, I'm slowly regaining uh, my ability to function uh, in my daily life. We'll put it like that. Okay, good. I'm glad that you. What? function more in your in your daily life somebody that's in a uniform you tend to want to trust automatically that's objection your honor want. he's leading the witness I can't believe yeah, this that is true yeah. I'll take that back no further questions yes we have some follow-up your honor okay if we may Itch, Mr. Ted, after you uh, were allegedly run over by this vehicle and uh, suffered these injuries from the fire and all of that, Itch, how did you get treated? Uh, actually, we had to have friends uh, pick us up and transport us to uh, Polito Medical Hospital. Itch, so you got treated at Polito Medical? Uh, yes, sir. How much did they charge you? Uh, due to not having insurance at the time because my insurance had expired, it was, uh, I believe it was 4000 Itch, and do you have any, uh, did you, did you provide any 
Any record of that, Your Honor? We would like to point out that there was no evidence entered of any, any medical bills, any psychiatric visits, no financial details of the alleged outcomes of any of this, huge, Your Honor. Guys, I see y'all. I see y'all, guys. And therefore, he shouldn't, the lawsuit for uh, physical, however it was worded, physical, uh, you know, health and insurance and emotional distress and damages and all of that, it can't even be calculated because it wasn't presented, Your Honor. How would we ever know? Strafe, I will go so by Mr. my, Charles, I will go by my PO, uh, a PO box this week. I went by last week and, I, and there was nothing there. If you're trying to get him to pay for your medical money. bills, then you probably should have a bill of what you paid for. Well, in order to have a totally itemized bill, also the uh, therapy bills will have to be included in that. And those will be forthcoming. Yeah, it's just a little too late for that. Did, did you say you have questions, Mr. Counselor? Yes, uh, yes sir, I do, if you can hear me. Good. Yeah, go ahead. Here, you want a microphone? Yeah. Toe to toe, steady bear, the yeah. beard dad, well, Miss Independent. That, go thank you for the three gifted subs, Miss Independent. Thank you for the 310 biddies. Thank sure you, thank you, thank you. Straight, I will get by my PO box again this week, brother. I will definitely get by there again. Y'all have time to go into those debates later when we go into the evidence side. Did you get that, sir? Bitch? Uh, my my little inventory thing ain't working out for some odd reason. Okay, then you could just go up and ask him then, bitch. Okay. You're on a question questions to the way. Hey, hello, sir. Um, so, uh, some pretty basic questions. Uh, where were you on the day of this incident? At the, uh, <clears throat> at the gas station located beside you tool um i need to speak up it is uh I'm trying to remember the postal it is 3051 okay thank you for that um can you describe like the scene like the situation that all happened uh yeah um once again we were filling up with gas in a uh, purple hellfire and there was some reason, for some reason, there was an explosion. Uh, nobody knows why yet. Uh, that's still being investigated by the fire department last that I was told. And uh, immediately after the explosion, I was slung backwards into an open area in front of the doors of the, uh, in front of the doors of the convenience store. And after that, um, the other female who was ejected as well from the explosion was slung uh, in front of the vehicle and then there was another individual that was to the right of it. Um, uh, the right of the gas pump. Uh, and after that, uh, the media showed up and whenever the media showed up, that's straight, whenever thank, the officer straight, thank came you for the over gift there. Up, Pick up. Thank you, thank you, thank you, straight the, uh, for the gift to sub. I truly appreciate that. Have a great pick night. Pick up the camera man. guy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And immediately left, running me over uh, while entering the gas station and exiting the gas station. And uh, I called out for help. The person to my left uh, from where I was laying was uh, able to hear my yells for help. And there was multiple 911 calls placed as well with uh, no response. Okay, uh, no further questions, Your Honor. Thank you. Redirect, Your Honor. Okay, let's keep it brief. Kind of going back and forth here a good bit. Right. Yes, Your Honor. Just to clarify, you said you was in front of the doors. You were in cl clear view of everyone, and everyone could see you, correct? Correct. I was seen, uh, supposedly I was seen by everybody there. Thank you, Your Honor. No further questions? All right. Mr. Graham, you may step down. Mr. Cole, do you have any other witnesses you wish to call? Mm, not at this time, Your Honor. Chad, I really don't even... ...witnesses you wish to call. Do you know what you're going to say? Yeah, yeah, I think, uh, quite frankly, we want to call the uh, hero himself, Lieutenant. Oh, God, dude, chat, I, I, I'm kind of nervous, bro. Like, I, I don't even remember. Oh, God, I'm nervous. I don't even remember all this. Very good, bro. All right, 
All right, Lieutenant Smith, if you could raise your hands for me. You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, sir, Your Honor. All righty, your witness, Mr. Trump. Oh, did I'm nervous. It's, thank you, Your Honor, and thank you for being here, Lieutenant Smith. I know it's a busy, busy life being such a, a huge hero for the community, quite frankly. We appreciate you taking your time. And I'm really, really honestly quite sorry that you have to be here even dealing with this, this sham, I tell you. It's quite frankly a sham. So can you tell me, uh, Lieutenant Smith, uh, what happened uh, on the 28th of April, I believe it was, uh, from your point of view, that happened on this scene? So as KJ mentioned earlier, um, I got out to assist her whatnot. Um, she hops in the car. I see... Um I see a fire explosion over there with the gas pumps. Um, Dillon's over there. D uh, Dillon was over there. And um, so I swing in. Very, very, very smoky. Um, I mean, it's to the point where I couldn't see my, my car. It's, it's very hard to see inside. I, I don't know if anybody's ever, you know, drove kind of drove into a big, you know, fire or, or smoke. Not so driven to fire, but you get the point with the, with the smoke. Um could not see very well also a lot of it was getting in my vents as well so um you know obviously with that i don't know much about being a fireman or anything but i do know that um that kind of stuff if it gets in your lungs it can kind of kill you really quick um so i i, I thought i was doing a, a good job as far as grabbing dylan up to get him out of there um not really sure exactly with everything going on and who else is around and whatnot um I don't recall running over anybody or running over somebody's leg or foot. Um, in that case, I mean, if, if I felt maybe a little bump, obviously I probably thought that it was the road or whatnot. Never heard no screams or nothing like that. As I feel like if people's down and, and they're alive, that they would be screaming in a situation like that. Um, and then the radio's going off with, with a hot call. And I got out of that scene for one to get away from the smoke, thinking that I had, uh, removed everybody from there. And then I had to pr uh, proceed on to the next call with, with an officer being involved in something. Yeah, it sounds like a crazy, hectic scene. Thanks for breaking it out down for us. Uh, yes, sir. Lieutenant Smith, when there is, starting from one thing to another, when there is a officer down call, a panic alarm, what do those sound like to you with your with your earpiece and your radio and all that? Uh, it's a lot of beeping going off in my ear. Uh, it was beep, beep, beep. And, um, and, and from there on, it's just sheer panic to try to get to whoever's down. So at that point in time, my mind's going 1,000 miles an hour as far as to figure out where that uh, officer is and how fast I can get there as quickly as I possibly can without wrecking. Is it is it difficult to kind of hear much else that's going on over that loud beeping and, and everything? Oh, absolutely. Uh, so when, when it's going off and beeping that loud, if somebody gets on the radio, it's very hard to, to even hear the radio traffic because of everything that's going on. And um, it is extremely loud from being inside of a police cruiser. Yeah, I understand. And so uh, you were driving, like you said, an actual police cruiser, yes? Huge. Like a, a marked, marked vehicle, right? Bruh. Correct, Your Honor. And isn't it? Uh, I said your honor. I said your honor. A common common thing that those police vehicles are are outfitted with premium special suspension packages. Is that correct? Correct. So maybe like when you go over bumps, you don't feel quite as much because you have to go over so many so often, chasing all the bad guys, right? Yes, that that is correct. So you might not have actually, if you did happen to allegedly run for anybody, you might not have even felt it in the moment, right? Yes, correct. Allegedly, if that's what they're claiming, um, there, there's a great chance that I wouldn't have felt, um, you know, a little bitty bump in the road as such a maybe a foot or a low ankle. I said, low looking ankle. back at it, if you ankle. knew that you had hit somebody, would you have stopped and helped them? Oh, absolutely. I, I would have uh, parked my car just a little bit away so that way KJ and Dylan wouldn't be engulfed in the smoke or flames, and I would, and I'd have ran back in. Um, I'm not a fireman. I've never been to fire uh, to the fire academy, but I'd have done my best with with what I could have done. I'd have probably put my little mask on that I, that I cut grass with, and I would have went in there. And that foot or leg there alleging that I ran over, I would have grabbed it and I would have, and I'd have tried to drag that person out of there. It sounds like real hero stuff coming from a true hero. I'll tell you. It, and speaking of firefighters and the fire that was going on. 
Could you, uh, how close did you say you were to the fire? How, do, you know, you got really close there to pick up the, uh, the, the re- news reporter over there, Hitch. Yeah, correct. I'd probably say within, uh, 10 feet, give or take, really, really close to where I thought my car was in danger of potentially, you know, uh, going up in flames itself. Hitch, well, I tell you, quite frankly, um, that's really close, and I think you're. I honestly, like I said before, I think you're a hero. I think you deserve a commendation, quite frankly, for this, for the actions of this day. I'm sorry that you have to be here for this. Um, I would ask if my council has any questions before we turn it over for Cross. No, sir, I'm good on questions at the moment. Then we will release him to cross examination, Your Honor. Okay, Mr. Stone. OG 104, thank you for the 100 babies, bro. I appreciate you. Oh, gosh. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, Officer Smith, what does that say on the fender of your patrol vehicle? Uh, supervisor? Maybe a little bit further down that. Something about bridging the gap. Okay. Um, yeah, bridging the gap. Yes, sir. Uh, do you know what that means? Uh, can you explain to me what it means? Yes, it's just public relation between officers and the community as far as bridging the gap. That way, because a lot of times people look at us as we're like we're like Power Rangers or robots. So it's more so to try to just bridge that gap between, you know, like, a, you know, like I just said, the community as far as, the, you know, like we are normal people. When we go home at night, we are normal just like everybody else. And, you know, we're trying to bridge that gap so we're like people don't look at us and get scared and think that we're just some superhuman, which in a lot of people's eyes, we are, you know, you know heroes because we save lives or whatnot. Um, but yeah, we're just trying to bridge that guy. We we want we want everybody to feel safe around us. We, you know, they know that we're normal people too. When we get home, we take off this uniform and stuff like that, and we hop on the game. We play Grand Theft Auto. We play Call of Duty. We're just like everybody else. So it's just more so bridging that gap and maybe having you know trying to sit down and have an ice cream with somebody one day, and they realize that hey, I'm sitting down with a normal guy. I'm not sitting down with some Power Ranger or somebody you know dressed up in this uniform. That's you know. That, that's not real or something. So, yeah, we're just trying to bridge that gap one step at a time, one day at a time, one month at a time. <laughs> sort of humanize the badge, so to speak. Yeah, absolutely. So when you uh, somebody looks at you, like you said, they're seeing somebody that they can trust, somebody that they can put their trust in. Yes, absolutely. And um, so when people look at us, you know, they definitely trust us. And like, you know, and that's where I'm trying to, uh, you know, as a police officer, I, w- I would hope that once we look at a citizen that, that we could trust them just as much, just knowing that they are going to buy by the laws or whatnot and do what they're supposed to do, you know, never run from us or anything like that. In that way, you know, they trust us. We trust them type thing. Uh, so when you was leaving the medium and you just picked up Miss KJ, I was going over to pick up uh, Dylan, you said. Uh, you thought what, you thought he was over there. Did you see him? Did I see Dylan? Yes, sir. You said you went over. Was you just going to the flames and smoke? Or was you? did you see Dylan around that area? Could you make him out? Both. Yes, he's very easy to spot out. He's got a helmet the size of Buzz Lightyear. I saw that kind of, po- uh, you know, coming out through the smoke a little bit. But I was going over there for both. So I saw him thought his life was in danger so i was just doing my job and uh it, it, it made my heart feel good knowing that I, I i got him out of there absolutely now when you was driving across through there there uh, you didn't notice anybody laying in the ground or around the area there or hear anybody yelling objection asked and answered and it also calls for speculation here draws it asks him to draw a conclusion draw a conclusion that he didn't see anybody speculative conclusion maybe he saw there's across the road there's a fire going on there's smoke it's a lot to a lot to assume there frankly it's a well over a month ago quite frankly we have to ask about that well, it's been true. it's been almost six weeks all right, all right so i will say that he did answer that that he did see the one person moving the smoke earlier and as you approached you didn't see anybody else i did not no i did not then you received a call at uh, a panic button, you said? Affirmative. Well, it's not me receiving a call. It's just it goes out to every officer that's in channel. Okay, yeah, yeah. Just standard panic button, kind of like the fire department has on their squawk and squealer side. Firm. 
When he was backing out of there, did you strike a vehicle? Uh, I believe is what Mr. Graham was saying. Did you strike a vehicle? Is that true? I do not. Objection remember. relevance. He's, he's not being accused of striking a vehicle. It's in no way related to what's being asked in this case. <laughs> Your Honor, it was a dynamic scene all going on in one time, very quickly. We kind of had to take that into account you know, to see if Mr. Graham was receiving I mean, things properly. I disagree, Your Honor. I think, quite frankly, if you if you put in that and you factor it in, regardless of if it happened or if it didn't, then it paints, uh, it, it can have unfair implications towards the officer in the lawsuit that's actually at hand. The objection is sustained. The uh, person from that vehicle, unless they are present in here or on the complaint, it's not relevant to the case at hand. All right, thank you, Your Honor. No further questions at this time. 10-4. Any Do you have anything? I'm good. If you are. Nope, we're good, Your Honor. All right. Thank you, Lieutenant Smith. You're good to step down. Judge, can I ask you one thing before I get down? Sure. Why is that man over there limping for? Because I've dealt with him on the street after this incident that he allegedly was involved in and that, that I was involved in. And, Your Honor, he was not limping whatsoever. He was actually he walking no just fine. For that. My body cam runs 24-7. Your Honor, that is totally irrelevant, and it really does paint my, uh, paint a very, very bad picture of my client in, in a negative manner, and it's done on purposely just to slander him. Well, it would have been great if we had some medical reports to, to back <laughs> any of that up, but I think we don't, so itch. For the purposes of this case here, given that body camera footage was not provided to the court showing that he was not limping we cannot take that into consideration at this time but i do note your objection to it lieutenant your honor we would also like to object to the quote-unquote body camera footage that was presented it has come to our understanding that quite frankly Lieutenant Smith here was never asked for body camera footage. He was never subpoenaed. It was never actually entered in an exhibit and witness list into the court record. How that came to be, nobody seems to know, and we think it should be tossed out. Well, if, uh, Mr. Trump, if you want to enter that, I have no problem with you going and entering it. I really have no use for it. Mr. Uh, Graham has spoken the truth. KJ spoke the truth. Well, we'll let the judge figure it out. I just wanted to mention that to the judge since he was new to the case that was posted earlier that that any footage that was entered into the court record through Discordia emails should be disqualified and not considered. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mr. Cole, was the body camera on your ENW? No, you're under. I do okay. not believe that we submitted any body camera. In that case, I will disconsider all body camera footage that I've seen up until this point. All right, Lieutenant, you're good to step down. Let's pray for bugs. Sorry, Your Honor. <laughs> oh, good job, Smitty. Uh, Mr. Trump, do you have any other witnesses you wish to call? Not at this time, Your Honor. Church! Sorry, is that bug spray ammo makes me sneeze. Uh, Mr. Stone, do you have any other witnesses you wish to call at this time? No, Your Honor, no witness at this time. Okay, do y'all have any other evidence y'all wish for me to consider in this case? No, Your Honor. Guys, I see the, re I see the resubs. Give me one second, guys. Mr. Trump? No, Your Honor. I, I see the resubs, guys. All right. Give me one second. In that case, give me a moment to deliberate while y'all give y'all's closing statements. Mr. Stone, you can go first. Thank you, Your Honor. Your Honor, we're here, hopefully, to build bridges, humanize the badge, bring the community together. One thing that we know, Lieutenant Smith has an exemplary record. I would hate to think that this would be something to it ever happen if he could if he could spell that i would give him that but i guarantee you can't even spell that word <laughs> a hit and run is a misdemeanor 
Hit and run? But by California law, you have to stay when you have a property damage accident. He pulled over in there. He did see a property and some property damage. He should have gotten out of his car, rendered aid, or at least called it into the fire department. Oh, I dude. Didn't even ask you that, did I? I'm sorry. I take that back. Your Honor. He, they're, they're, they're going down. They're going he down. He should have helped. He should have done a lot of things that he did not do. This is just one time that he made a mistake. They're going down. Clyde has testified to it. Some of the others. Dylan was in the vehicle with him. KJ was in the vehicle with him. He was well aware of it. It's just things like this happen sometimes. It happened to him. That'd be it, Your Honor. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Trump. To what? Yes, Your Honor. It's... Your Honor, people of the court, you've heard a lot of noise tonight, but I'll tell you what it is. It's all been static noise, just a bunch of crap, I tell you. You've heard just now about misdemeanors and responsibilities held therein, but I'll tell you one thing, a huge fact. This is not a criminal trial. This is not a misdemeanor, felony, civil, in or actual infraction of any nature. This is a civil trial seeking monetary damages for injuries that weren't even presented here. All that we were presented with, Your Honor, was somebody who was limping and said they went to see a doctor. Allegedly, that's crap. Nothing but crap, Your Honor. I'll tell you, it stinks. We probably should have some air fresheners in here. Like I said, this is nothing but a money grab, Your Honor. Lieutenant Smith over here did nothing wrong. Quite frankly, he could have stood idly by across the street and watched the gas station go up in flames. He could have just done that. He's not a fireman. You heard it from himself. He could have watched the news guy burn. He could have watched all these people. He didn't even know all the people who were over there burn. But that's not what heroes do. No, Your Honor, no people. We're not talking about just any random Joe Schmo here. We're talking about the one and only Lieutenant Smith. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, he doesn't wear a cape, Your Honor, but quite frankly, I think he should. I really do. I think we should get him a big, huge, beautiful cape. Be careful not to close it in your door at work when you're saving lives, Lieutenant Smith. Your Honor, not to be braggadocious, but I am the Attorney General for the state of San Andreas. Over the course of multiple years here, I've seen well over a thousand cases in the state of San Andreas' courtrooms. I know a lot about lawsuits in this state, Your Honor, and I tell you, I can smell a crappy one from a mile away. This is a crapshoot for, for sure, Your Honor. Help me help our law enforcement officers by rendering an accurate verdict today finding Lieutenant Smith not liable for any of the damages or fines or any recourse therein. He is a hero. Let us not subject our officers and heroes to the likes of frivolous money grabs and lawsuits like these. Huge, huge money grab, I tell you. Our officers do so much true heroes operating so constantly in harm's way let us set their minds at ease as much as we can that the court will not stand for Monday morning quarterbacks who are unqualified to pass judgment. In conclusion, Your Honor, it is well known that there was, quite frankly, some tragic events that occurred on April 28th. However, what we've established here is that there certainly were also heroics that occurred by Lieutenant Smith. So not only do we ask that you exonerate Lieutenant Smith, but I submit, I hereby submit a motion, Your Honor, to make April 28th, the day of this incident, a national holiday celebrating the heroicness and stoicism that Lieutenant Smith displayed that day. And that day shall be celebrated annually, henceforth, with gasoline-fueled bonfires and marshmallow roasts. That is all, Your Honor. The state rests. Who Sir. is this? Sir. Sir. What? I got I'm scared spray for bugs. We well, said there was bed bugs here. Let's cover it in a spray. Hey, you need to go to Smitty's Thank house you, to do that. Okay. Oh, Mr. Trump, you Get him out of here. always impress me with your colorful arguments. I'm sure You're if welcome. you become president again that we will have some very interesting new holidays. 
Does uh, that mean you agree to the holiday you're on? Uh, I have no authority to make holidays or any of that. That would be up to you if you do become president. Uh, best of luck with that endeavor. As far as the case in front of me, given this is an officer, the first thing I have to look at is qualified immunity. Under qualified immunity laws, it requires an officer to have acted knowingly and willfully in violation of someone else's rights. And another officer's reasonableness would have to be taken into consideration. Given we have to look at this not as someone from seeing all the facts, but as seeing what the officer would have seen. I have to look at it from his point of view. Being in a car, going at smoke, coming from angles that other people might not have seen. Given the fact that there has been no clear evidence that shows that Lieutenant Smith did see the def uh, Mr. Graham laying on the ground in this smoke, I have to find qualified immunity comes into play here. I find that Mr. or Lieutenant Smith cannot be held civilly liable based on qualified immunity in this case. Itch. Thank you, Your Honor. Appreciate all y'all's time, and y'all are dismissed at this time, but there's nothing else for the, for the court. Nothing else, Your Honor. We love you, and uh, we'll get back to you on that national holiday. Thank you, Officer Streets. We appreciate you, too. Yeah, nice actor there. Got you, brother. Why are you spraying me? Bed bugs. Get him. Get him, Streets. It's did, did been a bed bug in He's got them all over you. Yeah, you. Be hey. careful, Donnie. That, you don't want you to get allergic to that stuff. Yeah. Mr. Donnie. Yes, sir. Itch. We showed up and showed her down it's again. Hungry. We did. We, we had another win for the home team. I value it. What do you think about the holiday? I think I think that was a nice thing. I think we should look at that. Yeah. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I, I just fantastic <laughs> stuff all the way around in here. Itch. I think uh, I think we're onto something. Awesome. Thank you. Big bonfires and marshmallow roast. Itch. If you need anything at all, ever ever again, just let me know. I'll be happy to to represent you and make sure that that our hero stays uh, unscathed in the. Uh, Eyes of the law. Oh, I, well, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, sir. Have a beautiful night. You too. Very responsive when I talk to you. Ask for any better. That was perfect. Perfect. Bro. Itch, I think it was so great. It was you. Well, let beautiful. me get called up real fast, guys. Really 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 JC, really thank you for the seven months. Toe the toe, thank you for the 100 bitty says still undefeated. Steady Bear, thank you for the gifted sub. Country Day with two gifted subs. L Dave with the four months. DJ Slice with the eight months. And Swap Man with the 10 months. I don't think I missed anybody. Oh, yeah. Straight for the gifted. Toe to toe with the gifted. Steady Bear with the gifted. The Beard Dad with the gifted. Miss Independent, 310 bitties. Guys, thank you guys all so much. Lucky with the five gifted subs. Maddie Kate's coming in with a five months. J Dog is six months. Olivia Kate's in with 11 months. Love you guys, man. I love you guys, bro. What up, Victoria? Y'all are freaking awesome. Yeah, I don't. Chat. TikTok. Guys, TikTok, since we won that case, can I get five of you right now to come over to Twitch, baby? Drop that follow. Deputy Smitty on Twitch. If you click my profile picture, you'll, you'll see my Twitch link. Or type in Deputy Smitty on the uh, on the Twitch app. Guys, come on over. Smash that follow button. Come over here and celebrate the daggum win. Celebrate the win. Davy Dream. Dude, Country Dad says, who's got that 100 bomb in him? Uh, You're freaking so buck much. wild, bro. Davy Tree coming in on yeah. tier one for three months. Roy with the two Itch. gifted subs. Hey, Lieutenant, Lieutenant Smith, what did I say earlier? What's that? Winning is easy, I tell you. It just comes to be so natural. I'm telling you. <laughs> this, this was easy. I knew we had it in the bag before we even stepped foot in there. Right. I said, let's go. Come on. Show up, shut her down, I tell Shut her you. down. Sometimes that's what you do, baby. Dude, big it's buck with the five the bomb. Yeah. J Taz with the ten bomb. Dude, it's going nuts over I'm here. I'm surprised she didn't try Thank to you sabotage you. Thank you for being here, KJ. We no. really appreciate you. Probably yeah, quite frankly, no couldn't have done it without you and your testimony. I know. I, you know, you were all worried. And what happened there, Smitty? Now I, I wasn't worried. I knew when I had Donald Donald T in my, in my side that it. No, was I like, had your back. Man, you didn't think I was going to have your back, and I had your back. You did kind of throw me on the bus one time. I forget what you said, but you did kind of throw me on the I bus. I literally... T are you kidding me right no, now? No, no, there was... No, I'll, I'll give you credit. I'll give you credit. For the most part, you had you had my back. 
Look at that car. That car is sharp that he's in. Look at that thing. Anyway, yes. there was one there was one thing yes. you said. Yes. I cannot remember what it was, but I was like, oh, no, she's throwing me under the bus. No shot. I had your back 100%. There was one thing that you probably could have lied on, and you didn't lie. A lot about the officer panic. I had it, bud. Wait, was that not true? No, that was not true. I couldn't remember, so I just went with what you said. I knew you would. That's why I said it. It was a great idea. So you had me lying up there, too? Yes. I didn't remember I was in the car, Smitty. So we didn't really have a panic we had to go to? No. You're being dead serious? There. Yes, I'm dead serious. I couldn't remember, so I thought that you remembered. No, I was trying to help you. Well, they didn't have, uh, they didn't, they didn't have any kind of, uh, body cam, so that's on them. You're welcome. For what? Oh, look at him. He's looking gangster now. Do that. I helped you out. Oh, oh yeah. God, thank here you. Here we go. Do you need a mirror? Hey, Tommy, do you need a mirror, brother? Do I need a mirror? Smitty, no. Be nice to him. Yeah. Do you need a mirror to... Yeah, go ahead and tell him. What, what, what's going on, Lieutenant you can strap, Cheater? You can strap it to your knee. Strap <laughs> Okay. Okay. Who was this guy with his oh. shirt off? Oh, 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 man, I love you guys. Yes. Yeah. Lieutenant Cheater over here. Tyler Hand with the 10 gifted subs! KJ, go? why'd you even help this scum out anyway? Oh, I, I won mean, again. I couldn't I keep my again. hands off of yeah. him either. But I was a lady. Smitty won again. Oh DC God, with 100 bitties. Tyler Hand with a 10 ball. What? what is wrong with Dude, you? Dude, we're about to hit 250 subs Bitch on the night, Chad. Oh, my God. Hey. It hey. seems like you win every case you win. Did what now? Man, that's why. He it seems like you win every case you win. Oh, 100%. <laughs> yes, sir. 100%. Smitty's, Smitty's gangster with it. That's Never been on Twitch, but here I am from TikTok. Repo, man. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. You know what I'm saying? Up, I got Stands back. on business. Stands on business, baby. 100% of the time.